Hey guys, Chris here at Survival Dispatch. Um, a few weeks ago, a bunch of us went up on the mountain, and you guys have probably seen those videos. It was a lot of fun, we had a good time. Um, one of the methods of fire we didn't practice up there that day was what's called the bamboo fire saw. This is one that Alan actually introduced to me, and I really enjoy now. Um, it's a simple way to start a fire, um, takes a little bit of skill, and if you haven't seen this before, you really do want to watch this one. So check out the bamboo fire saw. Bamboo fire saw is one of the most simple ways to make a fire if you have no other option. Uh, it's literally rubbing two sticks together. So we start with a section of bamboo, and I'm in this case going to use uh, three nodes, three spaces between the nodes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just cut that down. There, there are a couple different ways that you can do this. One way is to simply split the bamboo directly in half and use one half against the other. But what I'm gonna do to give it a little more structural integrity is I'm gonna cut out a, a box section and use those two edges. So we just wanna come inside the node and remove this space here. So once we have this section removed, uh, you can see that it's flat. And what we're going to do is we're going to sharpen one side of that, not razor sharp, but down to about the thickness of a butter knife. We're just removing some of the surface area to concentrate the friction into the notch of the opposing piece. And the beauty of uh, the bamboo is that you can get your tender from the outside of the bamboo by scraping in this fashion, or you can harvest it from the inside and it will produce usually a finer piece. So by comparison, you can see one is much uh, thicker than the other. So we can take a half of a piece that's been split and come next to one of the nodes. We do that because this wall inside the bamboo maintains a little structural integrity and it's not as likely to, to crush or to break in half. So to start that process, I'm just gonna place my knife on the bamboo and I'm gonna push with my thumb, slow and steady like this, very safe, everything, all of my parts are behind the cutting edge. Then I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna go opposite of that and you'll see this piece flake out. And I want to keep doing that and work my way down to a line. And you have to be careful to make sure that you don't actually go through the bamboo because the more we do with the knife, then the less material is actually there to be eroded away by the friction technique that we're actually going to use to create the coal. So we want to go until we just break through the wall of the bamboo. And so I'll periodically flip over and look and check and make sure that I'm not going too, too deep. You can kind of see it's a patience thing, work one side, then work the other side. And if you want to zoom in, you'll see. So you can see there, we have just broken through the wall of the bamboo and that's where I want to stop. I don't want to go much beyond that. Okay, so we have our section where we where we've taken out and sharpened the edges, and by leaving these two halves round, it, we're going to get more structural integrity because I'm going to have to lean in on this and put my body weight to secure it. And then we have a piece that I've split and I've made my notch and you can see here where the notch is breaking through. Uh, I've, I've redone this one and put it in the middle. There's not a node there, but it's short enough that I feel like it won't break. And what we have to do is take our tender and place it directly 
we want to crush it so it doesn't have a lot of air space in it and place that directly onto the notch that we made. So to hold that in place, we can use a blade of grass, in this case, a sliver of bamboo, a piece of string, whatever you may have at hand. And we're going to hold it into position with our thumbs like so. So when you get ready to do this method, you're gonna lean in with your body uh, just below the solar plexus on the upper abdominal muscles so that it's the, the least uncomfortable option. You're gonna to wanna to have some kind of pad. It could be your hat, it could be uh, an article of clothing. In this case, I'm gonna use this shemag that I carry with me a lot. I'm just gonna fold this thing up to where it can act as a pad and I want it out of the way. I don't want too much of it flopping around. And I really wanna anchor this thing in the ground, okay? So that when I lean in, I've got a stable platform. And I'm gonna to have to orient my cutting edge up directly toward the sky, straight up, and get a good lean on that. That's the first and most crucial part of this process. This is labor intensive, okay? Now we've already prepared our tender bundle of various fibers and things, and I'm gonna want that close by and up off of the wet soil if possible. So, we wanna kinda of just do a test fit, make sure this thing's running good. It looks like it's running good. All right. Now we're gonna get ready for business. I wanna take a few deep breaths to oxygenate my muscles. And we're gonna start nice and smooth. And increase our speed and pressure by degrees. And then when I think I have an ember, I'm gonna roll it over in my hand. And this black dust that settled in the tube, I wanna save it. Very labor intensive. But we do have a coal. We're gonna just transfer that to the tender. Okay. Fire. Success.